Hi, this is Ken from Ken's Horticultural Services and ColonaGardens.com. Uh, we're visiting a beech tree today. This is a tricolor beech and it's just about to leaf out. So lots of things that happen with beeches is they're prone to uh, getting a lot of aphids, that sort of thing, woolly aphids especially, that's a favorite one for this particular tree. But there's always lots of insects and things around that want to eat the aphids. Here's one right here on my hand, a little uh, ladybug that's just coming in for a quick visit. Uh, you might want to take a little bite, maybe, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So I'm getting a little nervous there. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, the beech trees are prone to aphids, and that's one thing that happens. So you always try to get some flowers growing around the base of them or have hanging baskets hanging nearby with lots of flowers. That attracts the beneficial insects that will consume the, the aphids. Uh, this time of year, we're just having a look here at the tree a little bit, and uh, we can see that it's still pretty dormant. I'm just going to cut this little stub off here because it's... It's just kind of a, uh, was left rugged, ragged here. You can sort of see here that it was cut off. It was a bad cut, so it, it needs to be removed properly. So by just cutting it off, I've got rid of that uh, bad, potentially, uh, you know, an area, a bad angled cut where disease could potentially enter into the tree. Uh, remember that square cuts are easier for trees to heal. You don't want to have these angled cuts. Angled cuts are just a disease uh, situation waiting to happen. You can actually see it here where this has tried to heal itself. It's growing a callus around here, but it's not, it's not doing it. It's not working. So when you make a nice fresh cut this way, it's going to make a much cleaner cut. It's also going to give you uh, just quicker healing. So, and, and of course, trees don't really heal. They just grow over the spaces. So, uh, but that's uh, basically it for, for this beach here today. We got our ladybug still hanging in there. I think he's looking for a snack. He might be just taking a bite. <sighs> Better get rid of him before he bites me. <laughs> but um, that's it for today. Just snipping off a few branches here and lots of ladybugs around. They're waiting to come in, waiting for the aphids. They want to see lots of aphids before they set up their, their, uh, their situation where they'll start to lay eggs. So uh, got to have aphids to have the beneficials part of the part of the process well thanks for tuning in again today and uh, we look forward to uh, helping you again in the future